Hey guys, what is going on? Landon here, and in today's video, we'll be talking about the top duties you perform as an EKG technician. Now, I already know what you're thinking. I just gotta perform electrocardiograms or EKGs and call it a day, right? Well, kinda. That is your primary responsibility, but there are a few other duties that you have to perform. Duties that we will be covering in this video right now. By the way, if you're new to the channel, this is Certified Success, and here you'll find tips and tricks for busy adults to get certified faster and start the career of their dreams. All right, so the big question, what do EKG techs do? Number one, patient preparation. When patients come in for their test, especially an EKG test, they are likely to be nervous. I mean, I will be nervous too. So your first responsibility is to calm those nerves and clearly explain the procedure and different steps involved. Patients might have concerns about the procedure and ask questions like, will this be painful? Being the expert, you have to answer these questions and most of the time, you'll be explaining how the whole process is completely painless, non-invasive, and how long it will take. And this is where your people skills need to shine. And you can confidently look them in the eye and say, hey, everything is gonna be fine. Number two, applying electrodes. To conduct the electrocardiogram or the EKG, you need to apply electrodes on the patient's chest, arm, and legs. You need to ensure that the electrodes are positioned correctly and securely attached. Electrodes consist of a gel-like substance that is adhesive in nature. And because of this, when you attach the electrodes to the patient, it might feel a little cold. Now just make sure that you tell them about this beforehand. You don't wanna surprise them because they might surprise you right back. Number three, calibrating the EKG machine. After the electrodes are attached, it is recommended to ensure the EKG machine is properly calibrated. Now, you might have to adjust a few settings to ensure the machine is accurately recording the activity of the heart. Calibration involves checking and adjusting several parameters of the EKG machine, including the sensitivity, baseline, and filters. So obviously this is a bit technical, but you learn about all of this in your EKG tech training program. So hey, just breathe, don't worry. Number four, performing the EKG. Now that all the prep work is done, it is time to conduct and perform the EKG. You need to keep a look at the EKG waveform on the monitor to ensure the data is being captured accurately. During an EKG, you also have to monitor the vital signs of the patient and keep a note of any irregularity. During this period, you need to be attentive and you need to be on top of the entire process. For this, it is important that you get the right EKG tech training. But in today's day and age, if you want a successful career in any field, you also need a competitive edge. You need to stand apart. And that's true for EKG techs as well. And to help you with that, we have created a free masterclass on how to become an EKG technician. In this masterclass, Grant Aldridge, who is a well-known education expert, gives you a step-by-step -step roadmap on how to start your EKG tech career in as little as two months without driving to classes every day and without student loan debt. Not just that, you'll learn about the golden triangle for career success as an EKG technician. You'll also learn how you can possibly stand apart from the competition as an entry level EKG technician and choose the training program that helps you start your career faster without a big price tag. It is absolutely game changing and it is absolutely free. To sign up for this free EKG Technician Masterclass, click the link below in the description and the comments or go to ekgtechmasterclass.com. If you are serious about starting your career as an EKG Tech, make sure that you check it out. It's necessary. Moving on. Number five, recording data and maintaining patient records. For a successful EKG, data needs to be recorded accurately. This is important because the doctor or the physician will learn about a patient's electrical activity based on that very recording. It is imperative that the data is recorded accurately and in accordance with the standard practices. I mean, sometimes a patient might have to undergo multiple EKGs within a short duration of time. And in these kind of scenarios, you might have to refer old patient records. As an EKG tech, you are required to keep accurate records of each EKG performed, including patient information, procedure details, and any noted anomalies. Number six, assisting medical staff. 
Like other positions in a healthcare facility, you'll be a part of a big team that includes nurses, doctors, medical assistants, and other staff. And sometimes you might have to fill in for a few administrative tasks. Other than that, you'll be mostly communicating with nurses and doctors, informing them about the different procedures you conducted and in case you notice any abnormality. Number seven, maintaining the equipment. Look, regular cleanings and maintenance of the EKG machine and the electrodes is important. Technicians are responsible for regularly cleaning the electrodes and ensuring hygiene. You gotta keep it clean. Plus, if the electrodes have worn out, it might be time to put in an order to replace them. Number eight, emergency response. Look, as an EKG tech, you gotta be prepared for emergencies. In a situation where a patient experiences distress during an EKG, you must act quickly, initiating the appropriate response, which usually involves calling for medical assistance and providing basic first aid if necessary. So there you have it. These were the top duties of an EKG technician. Look, once again, if you wanna start your EKG tech career the right way, and if you want to enroll in a training program that checks all the right boxes, then I highly, highly, highly recommend signing up for our free masterclass by clicking the link shared down below this video. And if you found this video useful, show us some love and hit that like button. And until next time, this was Landon signing off. Take care.